Hey ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mark and uh, it's almost Thanksgiving so I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving and I want to share something very important with you that I'm very thankful about. I hope you're thankful about too. I'm going to use, I don't know about you, but I learn better when I can see things. So to be visual, I've got these three ropes. Um, they're just regular ropes. I have a short one, I have a medium one, and I have a long one. And they represent three types of people you might meet in Boston or in the subway or the orange line today. Some people have a very short list of things that they've done wrong. These are, you know, goody two-shoes type people. Um, do we have any goody two-shoes around here? You know, maybe you've only uh, lied maybe a few times, maybe only said a few things wrong, maybe only uh, hurt a few people's feelings. You have a short list. Some people are on the other end of the spectrum. Uh, we just had a big murder trial with Whitey Bulger. Maybe he'd be on this list. He has a long list of bad things he's done. People like this, you know, they steal cars, they break into people's houses, they kill people. Um, hopefully we don't have any of those among us, but, but we might. A lot of people think that they're in between. They're not a goody two-shoes and they're not, a, they're not an axe murderer, they're somewhere in between. And here's the most important question that you're going to be asked is, which one of these is good enough to go to heaven? Because, you know, we all have something in common. Every one of us has something in common. Some of us are tall, some of us are short, some of us are white, some of us are black, rich, poor, some of us are very handsome. I know you're all thinking, like me, I'm very handsome. I, I, I get that a lot. Uh, guys, I'm sorry, and I don't want to make you jealous. But, um, but in all seriousness, what makes us all the same is that we all die. You know, 10 out of 10 people die? They say there's two things you can't avoid in life, death and taxes, but they're only half right. Lots of people avoid taxes, but nobody avoids death. One person dies every 1.8 seconds. 1.8 seconds! In the few minutes that I've been talking, you know, tons of people have died. It's very serious. And which one is good enough to go to heaven? The person who sinned a little bit, the person who sinned a medium, or the person who sinned a lot? Most people say that as long as you've sinned a little bit, you'll be okay, to, you'll be good to go. Heaven will be good for you as long as you've been a good, you know, good. But if you've been bad, hey, you don't make it. But watch this, these ropes illustrate a truth. Remember, I had three ropes that were the same, different sizes. Now they're the same size. Why did I do that? I did that to show that God sees us all the same. God says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We're all sinners. If you've murdered one person, you're just as bad off as if you've murdered ten people. Anybody here murder anyone? Let's start with an easy one. Who here has told a lie? Is there anyone here who has never told a lie? Put your hand up if you've never told a lie. We see a public liar. Right? We've all told lies. And we think it's no big deal, but it is a big deal because God's holy. And God doesn't tell any lies. And we're made in God's image. So when we tell a lie, we rep misrepresent God. We, 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 we teach that God is untrustworthy. How many of us have ever, who here can say we've never stolen anything? Stealing is bad. You don't have to steal the Mona Lisa to be a thief. All you have to do is take, take anything that doesn't belong to you. A pen, a paper clip, download something from the internet that doesn't belong to you. And you'd be a thief. Steal time from an employer by goofing off. We all <laughs> sinned, every one of us. And, but I want to tell you, wait, so you know what we need to do to go to hell? Nothing. We do need to do nothing to go to hell. We all deserve it. Because we've all sinned. But the great news is that God did something about it. God cared. Next month we're going to celebrate uh, Christmas. Jesus Christ, God coming to earth. Jesus Christ, God in, in human form. Never sinned once. And what do you do to a perfect man who never sinned once? Do you give him a parade? No, we put him on a cross. He died. A disgusting death, like a lamb led to the slaughter. You know how disgusting it is when you slaughter a lamb? I've never personally done it, but I've seen it. It's gross, because our sin is gross. And Jesus Christ suffered and died for you, for me. Why? So that we can be brought to God, because God cares about us. Because sin demands a payment, a penalty. And Jesus is that penalty. He's that payment. Now, I want to teach you something about a quick thing about a trade. If you trade something, that means I give something to you, you give something to me. Here's a wonderful trade. We give God our sin, and He gives us a perfect nature. So that when we die, we get to go to heaven. Not because we're good, because no one's good, but because we're bad. And we've been forgiven by a good God. Two things you need to do. The cross looks like a T. T remember, two T's. If you forget everything you've heard from me, please remember this. Two T's. Turn and trust. Turn from your sin and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you turn, repent from your sin and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ that if you've sinned a medium or if you've sinned a little bit or if you've sinned a lot, God can forgive you. The MBTA wants you to know this so bad they put a big gigantic T on every single train that comes by here. That's what that T stands for. Turn and trust. If I had the cure for AIDS, I would give it out to anybody who had AIDS. We all 
have a disease much worse than AIDS. It's called sin. It'll kill us and send us to hell. And the cure, the only cure is Jesus Christ. He's the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by Him. Please call in the name of the Lord. I have this booklet, How to Receive God's Forgiveness. It's free for anyone who'd like one. The only reason why you wouldn't take one is because of pride. Attention Don't let your pride stop you. I have them in other languages. I'm Spanish, Portuguese, other languages. I'd be glad to give this to you. Please consider this. I hope that you're thankful for what Jesus Christ did for you this coming Thanksgiving. Because he died so that we could live. If we turn from our sin and trust in him, you'll get new life. You'll be forgiven when you die. You go to heaven because God is good, and we're not. Thank you for your, your time and attention, and God bless you. Would you like one of these? Thank you so much. Big one, thank you. Merry, early Merry Christmas. Okay, you have a great day. Thank you. Yeah, what's the question?